Alright, so I'm doing a challenge trying to platinum every single game inside of the Ubisoft Plus game catalog on PlayStation. And if I can't do it before we hit 690,000 subscribers on YouTube, then I have to tattoo the platinum logo somewhere on my body. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Bruh. Anyways, to choose the game today, I spun a wheel. And he's spinning the wheel. What is it gonna be today? Oh, oh my, oh, it's that one, okay. So yeah, Assassin's Creed Rogue was the game of fate today, and it has a total of 47 trophies inside of it, with nearly none of them being from the story aside from the first few. And there is multiple stages to this platinum, so I have a feeling today is gonna be a long, long day. The first stage is to, of course, complete the main story and try to do as many optional objectives as possible throughout, so I have less missions to go back and replay. The initial opening has us playing as the good old assassins, as you would expect, but then we got ripped out of the animus and into reality. Turns out, it was just all a simulation. But yeah, you get the first story trophy nearly right away. And I'm not gonna dilly-dally around with explaining the story anymore because I don't want to. So here's another trophy just from the next part of the story. And then in the following story missions, it was all in the frozen area of the game. So I had to break through a lot of ice and ended up smashing through 500 meters total for a trophy. I then got two more story trophies back to back before I ended up in the open world of Assassin's Creed Rogue. Which by the way is actually pretty good and I didn't run into any issues with it later on. But for now, I just completed my first warehouse mission with without getting caught or seen for that matter. And I received the ninja trophy for doing just that. While playing more of the story, I at one point got boarded by a ton of enemies on my ship. And the goal was to just simply kill them all, or 10 of them, because that's the magic number. Dream knows all about that number, if you know what I'm saying. But after defending the ship justly as God would, I got a trophy for defending it. Our main character guy then had some intense conversations with this gay cowboy right here. But after they stopped flirting, I got yet again another story trophy. And we didn't get to see the gay cowboy again for quite some time and I received two more boring story trophies without my long lost lover. However, after that I got to touch him with my blade and we even watched as he died slowly. What good fun times. Also a trophy popped. It was then the last real story mission and there was a ton of cool parkour in it, followed with the quote unquote good guys sort of abusing the final two enemies right here. Low key a bit unnecessary but then again we do what we want to. And there's a story trophy for that. There was however one more final part to the story and it had us back in real life lame. But once I entered the last mission or something, I got another trophy. Who knows when this will end, honestly. Oh wait, there's the credits. <laughs> oh, and, and even more credits. Nice. I'm definitely not gonna read them. That's what I'm saying. Alright, so that is the main story done. However, I did miss like five objectives total throughout all the levels, so now I get to go back and replay those that I messed up on. And by replay, I mean I have to literally do the objective completely over again because this game is too old to have accumulative saving features. And some of these objectives, by the way, were complete trash. Especially this one right here where you are in the forest and stalkers are constantly trying to touch you. I did manage to do it finally though, and here is the 100% synchronization trophy that I have been slaving over. Alright, so now it's time for the real fun of this game if you want to call it that. Stage 2. Essentially, this stage consists of us just going to every single location in the game, getting the viewpoints for collectibles later on, and also doing every single gang hideout, settlement, and fort available. Now I started with doing viewpoints of course, because being able to fast travel truly does make everything that much easier in the long run. Sadly, there's no trophies for that. But after, I decided to go do all the gang hideouts next, because there really isn't too many of them compared to the other collectibles in the game. And typically, the objectives were super simple, like cutting down their flag, the glue that holds the whole operation together. So yeah, there's that trophy. I then spent two hours straight going after all the forts in the game. Now, as you can maybe tell, this is indeed much harder to do compared to the gang hideouts, and it's mostly because you need a highly upgraded ship to be able to even do it. So I also had to grind resources in order to complete this, which is what took most of my time up. And honestly, it's Aside from the annoyance with failing the forts, they actually slap and are super fun to do. It legit makes me feel like I'm in a war or something when I just run around stabbing people with fire on all sides. Pure testosterone, I must say, my nuts were quivering. And the final real big hideout capturing thing, if you will, was to get all the settlements. These are very similar to the previous two objectives, except for the fact that it's even easier to do than them both. Also, there's only eight settlements in the game, so here's the trophy for that swell swell time. I then real fast went to the last few areas of the game I hadn't yet been because I missed like 
one tiny island or something. And once I made it there, I also got this trophy called Cartographer for visiting all the locations in the game. And now it's basically stage three of the Platinum Trophy. The Cartographer Trophy sort of was a part of the stage also, but stage three is just about collectibles. And I ended up finally breaking 100 icebergs right here, which was legit annoying my ass off because I thought it was only 50 and I was pissed that the trophy wasn't popping. Anyways, it's a dumb trophy, I can't lie. I then went after the longest collectible trophy with 200 total entries called Memory Collector. You gotta get 200 Animus Fragments, is what they call them, I'm pretty sure. But it's basically just these glowing white things in the sky that you jump onto and absorb, just like how all of my ex-girlfriends absorb emotional damage. But it's honestly not that hard at all to get these because they all show up on the map and the in-game counters are territory specific so you can track it very smoothly. Which is why the trophy pop right here only took me like another two hours or so to get. Also, when I got the final one, I completed another challenge in the game and had reached 35 total challenges done, which was another trophy. I then had a few more collectible trophies left to get around this desolate land before us. First being the Native Armor Trophy, which is done by finding all these little tower things inside of caves, and also doing a tiny little puzzle to get the light flowing within them again. And I'm not gonna lie, at first these damn light puzzles are actually kind of hard, but once you realize it's not that hard at all and a four-year-old could do it with rational thought, it makes this trophy very easy to get. And right after I finished the final tower right here, it gave me something of course, and I also received a trophy just for doing that. But there is actually another one relating to this native thing we are doing, and you gotta head to a certain place on the map that it shows you to collect the native armor. So I did that, obviously, and got the armor with another trophy pop right along with it. Next, I continued on the streak of armor collectibles and went after every single Templar relic in the game. These, however, are much, much worse than the native armor crap we just did. First, you have to find every single Templar map around the game. Thankfully, they all show up on the world map as collectibles. However, there is 24 of them, so that's quite a few to be honest. But once you have them all, you then have to look at the images for them and find the place to dig up the relic. I did not do that and just looked on Google for the coordinates because, yeah, I, I don't care enough. But even with the coordinates, it is still just a dragged out process, so it took me a little over two hours to do these 24 collectibles. However, once I got them all and inserted the little relics into this door, it did look pretty cool, so at least our efforts weren't for nothing. And after I collected the armor, I got another trophy. So that's it for the collectible stage of the Platinum Trophy, now it's time for stage four, the random ass trophy stage. But don't be fooled because most of these trophies are actually worse than the collectible ones. And I decided to start with the worst out of them all, Loot 20 Ship Convoys. You might be asking yourself, it's Illusion, what is a ship convoy? Oh, I'm glad you asked, young one. A ship convoy is a very rare enemy ship spawn inside of the oceans of the open world. You can tell it is a convoy by a big ship being surrounded with two tiny ones trying to help it out. Also, you need to sail to anything that looks like one because it will tell you if it's a convoy once you get near it. So it's always best to check. Now, I did not know this at first and was just killing any big ship I saw in the ocean, which is why it took me so long to do this. However, once I figured out what exactly ship convoys were, the trophy ended up getting done swiftly. So there it is in all of its glorious pain. I then did the same objective but on land and had to finish 20 enemy supply camps. These are much easier though because they just show up on the world map and you can fast travel to them all. However, before getting all of those done, I ended up getting two trophies back on the boat. First, for reaching level 17 inside of the naval campaign. This is like a mock simulation of ship battles that you can play and stuff. Overall, it's kind of odd, but hey, a trophy is a trophy. I then finally fully upgraded my ship with all of the resources I have been gathering today from supply supply camps and convoys. And then about 40 minutes later, I did all the supply camps I needed to for the trophy pop. And there it is. Also, I'm not going to put stage 5 into a separate category since it's basically just stage 4, but I ended up finally doing every single renovation on buildings in the game also. This was a little resource quest again where you just got to go to the same builder guy, give him a bunch of resources so he can very excitedly renovate buildings. And I think his specialty was changing the look the least he could because I never once could tell a difference with the before and afters. Now I feel scammed, I'm not going to lie. Oh my god! I then decided to go grind out multiple of these kill trophies on stalker enemies, which I was horrible at because the game never explained how to counter kill enemies. Thankfully, Google does, so I got it eventually, and I also found this insane place to do like three trophies at once. First, for countering 20 smoke bombs with my mask, and then for countering 15 air stalker attacks, and finally for getting 30 counter kills against stalkers, which is one of the dumbest trophies I've done in a while. I hate those damn people. Anyways, a hot minute later, I found this group of guards walking around 
around with lots of them. So I'm not really sure where they are going or why they need an entire team of guards to look out, but I can't complain because it was perfect for me to get these two trophies needing at least five enemies hit at once with grenade types. I then had to do another little grind trophy which had me do every single assassin interception objective. Damn, that's a mouthful. There is 12 of them total and it begins with you chasing down a pigeon. And then you have to find the target to defend. With the find assassin goal coming finally at the end. And then you just gotta go out and kill all of them. Overall, it's actually quite fun, so yeah, there's the trophy. I actually like that questline. I then went and randomly harpooned and killed a narwhal. Which I wasn't aware that was actually a real sea creature, but hey, a trophy. The next trophy I got was then for completing every single legendary battle in the game. Now the first ones are are super easy and simple with a fully upgraded ship like myself but boy oh boy the final legendary battle i'm convinced is like damn near impossible to do without cheats so i used cheats and it, it's not supposed to count as a valid attempt but if you quickly turn off the cheats after you finish the level it would just pop the trophy so who cares easy dub next i went and found the territory in the game with the least amount of stuff inside of it and after i collected all of the stuff i got a trophy for doing all of the stuff in a single area my last two trophies are now here in the stage first being for repairing all the computers in the game which you have to go back into real life to do and they just got tiny little light puzzles which aren't that bad however the final trophy i had in this stage was to save 300 prisoners of war this is another sea objective with ships that spawn in at very slow rates around every 20 minutes or so a pow ship will spawn in holding 100 prisoners on it all you have to do after it shows up is take out its two guard ships and then board and do the objectives to save the prisoners so if you do it perfectly like i did it just takes three ships total to get the trophy right there and now it's time for the final stage of the platinum trophy the cheat trophies. Assassin's Creed Rogue, if you didn't know, has trophies regarding the use of cheats to make the game harder, and I'm not gonna lie, unlocking all these cheats required the completion of nearly every single challenge in the game, which isn't that hard, but god damn is it just so not needed. Like, it drags down this game so badly. Anyways, I don't want to even talk about the challenges because they affected me traumatically. So here's those trophies for all the cheat using and stuff. The trophies themselves aren't even that hard, by the way, it's just unlocking the cheats to begin with. So anyways, there's the platinum trophy after all the cheat ones. Overall, Assassin's Creed Rogue's Platinum Trophy wasn't horrible, but it was quite the drag. The story itself is kind of mid, and I didn't really understand it, to be honest. But the gameplay was really good and even funny at some points, which you gotta love. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. And if you want to see the next game I'm going for, then follow my socials down below. And also join the Discord in the description, because I post on those often. And I'll see you then.